Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our college football week one preview between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the South Carolina Gamecocks. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Tar Heels. When you look at the North Carolina Tar Heels, instantly you want to focus on the big matchup at left tackle between James Hurst, who's an outstanding player, going against Jadavian Clown, an outstanding defensive end. That's going to be a battle they're going to have to win throughout the course of this ball game. And they also have to start working running backs A.J. Blue and Romar Morris into the passing game. Give those linebackers of South Carolina something else to worry about as opposed to just worrying about the running game. And on defense, Kareem Martin and that defensive line must do a great job of reestablishing the line of scrimmage, force South Carolina into uncomfortable situations, and you can have a chance to win this ball game. Now let's move over to South Carolina in this ball game. When you look at their three wide receiver, one tight end set, I think that should be the base set versus the Tar Heels defense. They got to attack the slot corners and the wide receivers have to win those individual matchups. That's where the game can be won for South Carolina. And two defenders are going to play a huge role for the Gamecocks this week versus the Tar Heels. You look at weak side linebacker Marquise Robert and what he can do to get pressure on the quarterback. And the spur defender Sherrod Golighty in that underneath coverage versus the multiple attack of the Tar Heels. And on offense, we look at the quarterback Connor Shaw. He has to be that dual threat type of a player. We know he can run very well, but he's going to have to hit some passes downfield to loosen up that coverage of the Tar Heels. The X Factor for the Tar Heels in this ballgame will be the tight end Eric Ebron. I've always talked about it. When you have a tight end, you're tough to defend, and he's one of the better ones in the country. He can do a great job in owning the middle of the field versus South Carolina. The X Factor for the Gamecocks will be running back Mike Davis, who's a sophomore, got some playing time last year, nearly rushed for 300 yards, and if he can provide that balance to this offense, he can make the Gamecocks that much more dangerous moving forward. Now here are some of my coaching points for both teams in this matchup. Let's start with North Carolina. Don't let your pride stop you from stopping Clowney. If Hurst is struggling out there, don't be afraid to get that guy some help. Don't let your pride get in the way. And quarterback Bryn Renner's efficiency, I like what he brings to the table. Very talented passer, one of the best quarterbacks in the country. He's going to have to be efficient this week versus South Carolina. They have to win on both sides of the line of scrimmage. You have to dominate up front in order to knock off an SEC opponent. He'll definitely have the talent to make that happen. Now, for South Carolina, the linebackers will have to excel on both ends of defense. You got to stop the run, and you have to play well in pass coverage and keeping Jadavian Clowney on the move. This is a guy that's very talented. You can have him as an outside backer, DN, D tackle, on the nose. He can dominate. You got to keep him moved around. And the wide receivers are going to have to get off to a great start versus North Carolina because otherwise, UNC can put pressure on the quarterback, and if those wide receivers can't get off bump press, it could be a long day for the Gamecocks. Now, here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to look out for in this ball game. For North Carolina, Bren Renner is an outstanding passer, shows tremendous accuracy, reminds me a lot of Matt Ryan. When you look at James Hurst, I think he's the best tackle prospect in the country, 6'7", 305 pounds. He has a tall task this week going against the best defensive end prospect in Jadavian Clowney. And speaking of defensive ends, you won't find a more technically sound defensive end than Kareem Martin for North Carolina does a great job in playing the run and holds his own at the line of scrimmage. Now, when you look at South Carolina, Jadavian Clowney is a very talented ball player. Reminds me a lot of Lawrence Hill. I think he has that type of ability. And as you can see, they're talented along that defensive line. Chaz Sutton is another guy that can get pressure on the quarterback. And Kelsey Quarles, a junior, can get that interior pressure and does a great job versus the run. In the secondary, keep an eye on Victor Hampton, 5'10", 197 pounds, the next in a long line of outstanding cornerbacks coming from that Gamecock program. Charlie Choo Choo Justice was an all-purpose phenom for the North Carolina Tar Heels from 1947 to 1949, where he threw or ran for a total of 64 touchdowns. He was a two-time All-American and finished second in the Heisman Trophy in both 1948 and 1949. You can tell quarterback Steve Tannehill had a lot of fun playing football for South Carolina from 1992 to 1995, threw 62 touchdown passes in his career and combined for over 8,300 yards in total offense. I like South Carolina win this ball game. I like this matchup overall. UNT is a tough football team, but while the skill players are comparable, the Gamecocks have the advantage on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Look for a close one between two solid football programs this season.